Hello guys, welcome to Droid Crunch and I am Lokesh Kapoor and in this video we are going to set up webhook so that whatever you input in your form can be accessed from your Google Sheet. So let's start of this video. First of all, let me show you the form. Let's create a new page. So let's add like web for testing and publish. And then let's add this Elementor and here we can drag and drop our form okay so basically we have now these three fields name email and message okay and for the action we are going to use webhook okay so we need this webhook URL right so I will leave the link to this uh, tutorial but you don't need to worry about reading all of this because uh, in this video I will uh, show you how you can utilize this one so first of all just open up your sheet and I name it webhook URL you can name it anything it is uh, just for a reference and whatever our uh, row items would be like the column headers you can say foot match to this form fields label okay so name it should be name it can be name as well okay but it's uh, important you keep to the same recommended I would say and then you can say email and then message so you need to reference this label value to this uh, column headers okay so now we have these three headers for our form for our name field, for our email field, and for our message field. Perfect. When you are ready with this, just click on extensions. Click on this apps script. Okay. So you will need lead to this code.js, Google Sheet you can say, and here you can input your functions. It is something like JavaScript functions. So we will go to here, and here's all the snippet. Just copy this down and paste, paste this one so you don't need to worry about all these functions methods variables uh, or anything inside this code it's very simple it just takes out uh, all the permissions and uh, turns all the you know uh, field values to the strings and saves it to the sheet okay so when you are done just save it and you can uh, go to this initial setup and click on this and run this one okay so you can test it now you can deploy it click on this new web app authorization is required click on this authorization and you can authorize it and done um, you can name it anything like uh, webhook testing I would say And then execute it uh, from your email id and access you can give it to anyone then click on deploy so it is updating you need to just copy this url and paste this in your webhook url settings right there okay for the form you can now save it and it's done and now you need to do this go to this trigger okay and you need to add a new trigger add a new trigger from here choose do post which deployment should run head from spreadsheet okay uh, on form submit notify me daily and that's enough it again needs authorization let's give it the required permissions and allow it okay so now it's done we have it there so let's first read this if we have uh, done our setup pretty well so what was required elementor form google sheets basic coding skills but we didn't require it so things we needed and what was upside and interpret in a google sheet document we had it all now create document we created it and now we went to this app sheet app script and we pasted the script we created a new deployment we created the web app then give it a name allow the access to anyone and authorize the our application we set up the initial setup we run the initial setup 
and then we had added the trigger and we kept it like this copy double url we also pasted our url on our form right and now we can just uh, give it a test so let's open our form on a new page and for example let's say locash hello at the rate of locashkubo.com email hey this is wordpress and let's send it and we had also this one in our submissions so yes we got this one right there here this is wordpress and now we need to check our sheet whether we received data yeah we received the data you said so this is how it would work you can add more labels uh, or add more columns into it by just adding more fields in your form and you can map them in your sheet and this would work this way so for this you don't need any jp account you don't need any other third party service you can do it by yourself i will leave a link to this uh, this thing so you can uh, check it as well if you are not sure about this okay so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't already so yeah bye bye thank you so much